and all of your fans. We mm. call them friends or followers, but but what is it? Mm. <laughs> you, you, you get yeah. you, you get up and 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 thousand people are follow you. Mm -hmm. you. What do you do? Mm. We're not prepared for this, mm -hmm. so it's pure confusion. You mm. notice what people are doing with the technology. I heard a girl the other night on television responding to a horrible crash up at um, heading up to Mandeville. Mm -hmm. And what was her plea? She yeah. said, mm. she said, please, mm -hmm. I'm begging you, yeah. do not put these images on WhatsApp. Mm -hmm. mm. And people, people are not setting out to hurt other people. Mm. But the regulated people, you don't see that on TVJ and CVM for a reason yeah. mm. because they operate in a regulated space where, they, cash where they have to take the public interest into consideration. Mm -hmm. All of we now turn broadcaster. Mm. Mm. Can we now get one phone mm -hmm. and what TVJ and CVM used to do mm -hmm. with Blow camera? Yeah. We have it too with camera mm. and then we broadcast yeah mm. and set live and, right we brought and live mm. Mm. but but no regard for ethics mm -hmm. journalistic principles sense of responsibility the public interest talking about regulation as much as governance mm. <laughs> governor how do we govern the new society right. the digital society yeah. because i'm wondering it's a beast the, those platforms need to verify. They need to check not one source, but two sources. Mm -hmm. If they put out information that is misleading, mm -hmm. they are accountable to a regulator. Mm -hmm. The other people, them say what they want to say. Mm -hmm. Influencer, say them what they say. Vlog and blogger, say what they want to say. And when them wrong, them don't even come back For and saying. apologize. Like yes. Them just right. move on to the yeah. next thing. What's up, viewers and subscribers? Welcome back to My Thoughts TV. So, I was scrolling through YouTube and I book up on this interview with The Fix. So, The Fix uh, interview Mr. Carnell Green, the head of BCJ. So, he is a part of the Broadcasting Commission. And... When I watch this interview and I see my rant and I preach, what I get from this interview is this man, Broadcasting Commission, they have an issue with content creators. Creators who report on news and feed people information. Broadcasting Commission have an issue with these content creators because they want to be the only one to control the narrative. I remember when it's a broadcasting commission, the TV, the Gleaner, the Star, all these platforms, all these news outlets, the government, the politicians, they control the mainstream media. So anything that politicians want the mainstream media to put out, them let them put it out and what they don't want the mainstream media to report on and put out, them stop it. So because content creators, the channels them on YouTube that report on news, they are not filter. And a lot of times, like if a politician, for example, a politician involved in a certain things and they might try to cover up certain things and the general public don't pick up on certain things. A lot of these content creators, they break it down so the public can understand so a lot of times, you know, when I watch certain channels, you know, I'm going to the comment section, the general public, people are commenting and say, thank you content creator to break down this because I didn't understand. So that is the issue. The government, politicians, they have with content creators, they only want the mainstream media to control the narrative. So anything them want the mainstream media to put out them put out if they want the mainstream media to tell lie and manipulate the masses so them want it to go they don't want no one to interrupt that and content creators a lot of youtube channels they are doing just that they are being a part of the narrative because they hear how this man attacks say people just take up them phone and them report and things like that if the people didn't realize say, these persons is trustworthy, a lot of people wouldn't tune in to these channels because 
I remember one of the time them, you know, fake news because a lot of content creators, you know, like back then in 2018, 2017, a lot of fake channel was there, you know, and I put out fake news and then people start to realize these things and people start to unsubscribe from these channels. So anytime a person tune in to a channel and then realize that this channel is fake, then unsubscribe. What me say a lot of the channels them now do because they want people to trust them, because they want people to see that they put out facts. Them highlight the mainstream medias that they get certain information from. Or any platform that is known to put out straight facts. So a lot of channels them highlight the platform that them get them information from for make people see say it accurate before them put it out. So I don't know what this man at all about. So if fake channel out there is a small amount and a lot of times I see mainstream media them them put out information that is not accurate and then then them come back around and them left a speech and apologize. It's not all the time we content creators are going to be accurate, you know. Because we are not perfect, you know. But it's not like, say, we have a bad intention, you understand? Same like the mainstream medias. A lot of time they are not accurate. Because a lot of time you see them report on things, put out certain information, and then they come back around and apologize and say, that wasn't accurate. See the right information here. But this man issue is because in puppet masters, certain politicians who indulge in a corruption, this man's salary, this man's pay is a part of them paycheck. The politician them, a them a pay Carnell Green. So me understand, you must put it out there and say, oh, content creators, YouTubers who didn't go to college and study journalism these persons them just there them yard and they might drop out of school and then just take up them phone or them computer and then just report on things and just put out false news out there because guess what they want the general public to believe them and turn against content creators so them can go ahead and ban these content creators and that is the strategy I realize this man I do for shut up other content creators. Broadcasting Commission want to be the only one to control the narrative. And if that happen, that's going to be a big problem. I tell you, because a lot of these politicians, a lot of these persons in a power, them are going to do things and get away with it. Man like a Sir P. Him now, he might go shine a light on certain things that in the dark that these politicians, these persons in a power are hiding at the dark. Channel like Sir P, him now I go shine a light on that and these persons don't want that to happen because channel like these I put them in a hot waters. Channel like these I make the general public see them true colors, see say them involved in a corruption and them is all about power and money and they don't care about the general public they don't care about crime they don't care about the poor well-being people them who live in a volatile communities like the reamers and the jungles these persons they don't care about these people because if them did care about these people you know they would have listened to the cries of these people you know do something about these communities do something about crime because really and truly the government they are not doing anything about crime anytime them under pressure then just come out with a full full strategy make a general public think say them are trying to fight crime when really and truly they are not because the right things them that them fit do for fight crime them not do it why the government don't implement laws to deal with these terrorists why are the same law they might use from way back then when jamaica crime rate did low and the law them time they had it for deal with jamaicans them time they why the government don't implement law for deal with jamaicans no criminals no why why the death penalty 
is on the books a part of law and them na use it why and in a other country it show it proves that the death penalty effective because the countries them that the death penalty active you know crime rate a get lower and lower and lower and jamaica crime rate it a get higher and higher and higher and jamaica is a small island because our criminals them comfortable the justice system now nah do nothing to stop them. You know, all these politicians do. Anytime them under pressure, them come out and make it seem like say, them are the work when them not doing any work. So, because channel like my one uh, shine a light on these things, I show people say, these politicians, these persons in a power, them now nah do no work. I sleep them asleep and we are shining a light when them involved in a corruption. These persons, you know, these politicians, these persons in a power, you know, they don't want the general public to see these things. They want the broadcasting commission be the only platform that control the narrative. People like Carnell Green, that is the issue them have with it because if YouTubers did a report and a put up images of accidents like when a person dead and things like that Colonel Green and people like him wouldn't have an issue because it's been a while now before YouTube even popular Jamaicans anytime them see an accident them just video it and put it up on social media I take a picture and put it up on social media some graphic images and this person Colonel, Gre Colonel Green and people like him didn't have an issue why as Sir P and channel like Sir P one invented and them start to shine a light on corruption, politicians and people who in a power involved in a certain corruption, suddenly them have an issue with fake news and people who have put up certain images on social media. And before channel like Sir P, these persons didn't have an issue with these things. Majority of Jamaicans them concern about crime and violence than how they concern about fake news. Because even if fake news channel never exists, fake news would still have spread, you know. Because fake news has spread before channel exists, before YouTube exists. Because a lot of Jamaicans, you know, anytime them hear something, they can't even wait till them hear the full news, you know. Them start to spread information and they add on to that news and spread it. So even without YouTube and channel, fake news are got always spread. So the only way them can stop these things unless them are going to ban people mouth. But as long as mouth exists, fake news are going to exist. But guess what? These people don't care about the, the masses, you know. Jamaicans, you know. You see, because them have a huge problem with channel that are exposed certain things, them have to come out to make it seem like say, they care about the concern and the well-being of Jamaicans, you know. Because guess what? Bending the law alone to benefit them, to keep them out of trouble, that is not enough because you have channel a shine light on these things. So if you stop them from getting exposed, they must get rid of the channel them that are do the exposing. Because a lot of people follow a lot of these channels and they don't want to make it seem like say they might attack these channels because these channels are exposed them. So they must come out, they must keep a meeting, talk about these things, come out like say them concerned about people just because they want to stop these channel they want to ban these channel and you see the extent that these persons them are go them 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 want to go to youtube because they realize that every single thing them try channel like serpy it now stop and the amount of time they go there either and report these channel these channel now ban so the only solution now if you go to youtube and get rid of these channel completely and I did think say Jamaica was a country of freedom of speech. People are gonna have different different opinions. You cannot have a society with a lot of issues and people cannot voice them opinion on these issues. I might not agree with 
how them do things, you know. They might don't agree with how I do things, you know. But everybody have them opinion. Jamaica should be a freedom of speech country. But guess what? These people, they want to be the only one to talk and everybody else listen. What they say, it is true. And what we say, not no go so. Because it's true, a lot of them have qualification and them in a certain position and them powerful. They know, say, Jamaicans, they more believe them because through them go school and them have them degree and them things there. But a person now who, as we him say, just take up in computer and just become a journalist when other people that in the mainstream media, them have to go college and them have to chain and them things there. So what we attack are nonsense and what them attack, it makes sense. And a lot of times, you know, I see mainstream journalists, you know, I do interview, you know, and them now ask the right questions. And me, I feel wonder, say, so these persons no go school. But the thing is, you can go school and get an education, become a journalist, but you cannot go school and get common sense. So a person don't have to go to school to learn how to question a person, to know what is wrong from what is right, pick out sense out of nonsense. Last thing I want to say, Cardell Green and people like him, because I don't just talk about Cardell Green, I talk about our leaders, people in a certain position. So if Cardell Green and people like him is so educated and other people who is not educated like them, they don't know nothing and these people know every single thing. And these people is Mr. and Mrs. Know it all. Why can't these persons with all the qualifications, with all the educations, stop crime? Why the criminals them, who them would have classify as duns, always a outstep them? When they implement their full full strategies, why the criminals them, who them classify as duns, always the 10 step ahead of them? And these people is Mr. and Mrs. Know it all. Because what me I get from this old you know, is the the people them who actually go to school and study journalism, they know every single thing. And the youths them who they are them yard and then just go up on them computer, go up on them phone and they make a video and they report on certain news. These persons them don't know nothing because they never go to school for learn it. And that me I get you know. So with all the education why these persons don't make Jamaica be a better place. Anyways, if you guys like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment and share. And turn on the post notification bell so you don't miss an next upload. I'm out.